guys. Uh, bright and early, Sandy and I got to talking and came up with a couple of things that I grabbed the phone to do videos on before I forget them because I have no memory. Because my head is clear and I live in the now, that's why. Okay, so let's talk about... The first one was meditation. Okay, guys. I know that you have been taught that meditation is... Um, and I have told you that meditation is clearing your mind, shutting your brain off, stop thinking. Now, what I want to tell you guys is, yeah, that crossing your legs and being in a quiet place and going on and all that stuff, that is a form, that is one kind of meditation, that's one way of meditating, but there are many, many, many more, and that depends upon you. Take, for instance, me. I can go, no, let's not take me, because I can meditate while I'm talking to you. Let's take Sandy, okay? Sandy's way of meditation is going by herself, walking through the forest. Now, she doesn't stop. She doesn't close her eyes. She doesn't do any of that stuff. She moves through the forest in a fluid way. Now, we figured out that she can't take the dogs with her because she worries about the dogs. Well, that's thinking, right? And you're supposed to be not thinking about anything. I can't even go with her when she does that because she wonders where I am as we walk through the forest. So she's got to go by herself and fluidly move through the forest. And when she's done that... She has uh, met some very interesting beings. They get closer and closer to her whenever she does that. Why? Because she's in a meditative state. I can tell you that some other ways that are very common that people can meditate are scuba diving, uh, driving, big driving. Anything that you do that is soothing to you, that you don't have to think about, that you do it so well that you don't have to think about. You want to know how those people rock climb and they just hang on the edge and they just spider up the side? They're doing it in a meditative state is what they're doing. And when you start doing things in a meditative state instead of just sitting there like, um, the things that you do, you do magically. Um... You connect to source. You're like uh, Beethoven writing symphonies or any great artist where they connect to the other side. They're in a meditative state. Einstein used to say he didn't know where his great ideas came from because as you do this meditative state, you connect to source. When you connect to source, you get answers, you get abilities, you get things. Knitting, crafting. Oh, yeah, knitting, crafting, arts, um, uh, like a painting, painting. It doesn't matter whether or not it's good or not, guys. That's not the point. The point is to get you in a state of ease where you're not thinking. Now, I, I brought up, I am sure this is not for me at all, but window shopping, where you're not buying and you don't go for something, but if you're in the city, you can just walk around a mall or or uh, down in, in an area and admire the stuff that's there, but not think about buying it or spending it or having it or not having it. No, it's just the walking through. I'm sure that there are people that can do that. The trick is that you've got to find your way, and your way will be different to you. I can do it really well whenever i um night driving, uh, <clears throat> for long distances, night driving, uh, Sandy can do it driving too, but she she prefers day driving, so that will work out. How beautiful is that for our traveling? We're vanilla and chocolate again, perfectly matched. Um, yeah, what else did? What other kind of ways did I say? <clears throat> now with me, I can do it here, but but I go more into a really deep. I can also go different layers. But that's because I've been dead, and then I came back and I worked on this for 10 years. But you don't have to. So instead of trying to force yourself to do the sitting cross-legged by yourself going on, instead of fighting into that, which is what I did, I don't think that's necessary. Well, I know it's not necessary. 
Find your way. Find, find your way of clearing your mind. And it doesn't matter. It'll be unique to you. It'll be unique to you in the moment, depending upon where you are. Uh, yeah, there might be some jobs that you're <laughs> meditating in. <laughs> Somebody that does, like, puts the same screw in the same thing or does things real repetitive where you don't have to think about it and nobody's bothering you. Uh, yeah, you could definitely go into a meditative state while you're working. That would be awesome. Make money and, like, be in a meditative state. Once you're calm and in a meditative state... You can access anything that is source and source is all things. So, like I said, the um, the rock climber that goes into a meditative state uh, as they go up that sheer wall, they're accessing abilities, physical abilities that they wouldn't normally have. You know, I, I, dancers. Oh, my gosh, dancers. The, the other day I was watching this. Man, I wish I had that name. It came up on my, on my YouTube. But it was, uh, they were ballroom dancing. And they look like it was some kind of competition. And, oh, I have amazed. Absolutely amazing. Dancers in that moment where they're not worrying about things, they're in the flow, they can seem to... Um, gravity doesn't, doesn't count for them. And that's what they're doing. They're doing it from a meditative state. Um, I've seen ice skaters do it. Definitely competitive ice skaters do it. Um, I can tell when they're doing it because to me they're completely different. They're not, they're not connected to all of the stuff and the people and the belief systems anymore, and they just separate. Now the the trick here is that I think they're taught that you've got to do that for years in order to get to that point. You don't have to do that. You have to find the thing that you already do, and then lean into that. Find out what you do that you could. You don't have to think about that you can do most of the time. Most of the time, not always. Most of the time, it's going to be away from people because they'll talk to you unless you're really good at ignoring them, <laughs> which some people are. And, uh, yeah, skiing. Skiing's a good one, too. Skiing. Because you can't... You, you can be around people fine, but they can't talk to you. And you can focus on something else. But... Find out whatever it is your thing is and use that to meditate. And what you're doing, meditation to me, is stopping your brain from thinking, thus allowing other things to come back in, remembering, knowing. And that leads us to... Should I do a separate video on that? I don't know. Usually people... I might do a separate video on that. Okay, I'm going to do another video on losing your amnesia. Um, this one isn't going to be as long. But, yeah, this is what I want you to know is you need to get so that you shut off that brain. The more you do it, uh, however you're going to do it, it doesn't matter. You pick the, the place and the way that you do it. And then you're going to be able to do it more and more and more and more. Once you practice it, then you can do everything and still stay in that non-thinking um, state of mind or lack of state of mind. And that's the best feeling ever when you get to that point. Uh, it really is. Um, stop thinking. It'll be the best thing that you ever did. All right, guys. Well, if you have any questions, which you probably do, write them below. Uh, subscribe. Thumbs up. Uh, watch the commercials, please. What else do they say on these shows? I never remember. Thank you, all my subscribers. If you don't know that, I love you so much. And everybody that's on the website, NCCC group, WhatsApp group, love you all. And uh, huge hugs, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.